Bienvenue à tous, welcome everyone. Um, thank you for joining me in this uh, amazing day, I hope. Um, I hope you are all feeling well, that you are all safe as well. Um, et que vous commencez à vous habituer un peu à la nouvelle structure qui s'installe autour de vous, puis aussi à l'intérieur de vous. So, this um, practice will be evolving around the element of water, so a lot of fluidity. So I invite you guys to make sure that you have all, um, that you have all you need. So if you need a blanket for your knees, please grab one. Otherwise, we won't need any uh, props, really. And then join the soles of your feet together. Move your heels as close as it is comfortable to go towards your pubic bone. And then press into your palms, lift your pelvis, then slide it forward towards your heels to get that little bit of a posterior tilt in your pelvis. And then go ahead, inhale, and then exhale and roll back into Supta Balakonasana. Release one palm onto your belly, the other one onto your heart. And take a moment to land here. Si pour quelque raison que ce soit, c'est pas confortable, vous pouvez toujours placer une couverture sous les cuisses. Peut-être même glisser simplement vos poings pour les supporter. Mais autrement, donnez un moment à votre corps de se déposer. And so to connect with the element of water, you have to remember its quality. How the water can shape landscapes. How water can shape rocks. How water can transform itself into various shapes and phases. Donc, tranquillement, rappelez-vous les qualités premières de l'eau. L'eau qui peut transformer les paysages, reconfigurer même la pierre, le roc. L'eau qui a le pouvoir de se transformer en plusieurs phases, d'évoluer dans un cycle et de constamment bouger sans jamais être attrapé, retenu. And go ahead and take a deep breath in through the nostrils and exhale to the side. And do that a few more times. Inspirez pour gonfler le ventre, la poitrine, les clavicules. Expirez par la bouche un soupir qui vous enracine ici, maintenant. Just make sure here that the breath pattern is smooth and fluid like one long thread, like the stream of a river running down smoothly. On your next breath in, reach the arms up and all hold on to opposite elbows. Now reach the elbows up and overhead to frame your face with your arms. If this is not comfortable or if you feel like the arms extended will make your rib cage pop up, then bring your forearms back to your forehead. And just take a few breaths here. Lengthening the spine as you inhale. And exhale to soften everything. Connect with the quality of the water to wash away to wash away whatever you don't need anymore, to whatever is not useful anymore. À l'expiration, relâchez les bras, bring your hands towards your legs, and then just take a moment to rock your pelvis side to side without moving your knees. So you keep the exact same, same butterfly shape in your legs, but you're just kind of tilting towards the left and then towards the right. So tiny little movement of your pelvis. 
and then notice which muscles are activating to do so. Keep the inner thighs long, avoiding to contract the muscles in there. And rather connect with your belly muscles to gently twist side to side. Et puis pensez un peu plus à contracter les flancs ici pour engendrer le mouvement plutôt que de resserrer l'intérieur des cuisses et faire de la longueur. So let's aim to maintain the length from the pubic bone to the inner knees. Et puis une dernière fois de chaque côté. Comme une embarcation qui navigue sur un plan d'eau calme. So just imagine with a canoe or a kayak on a very uh, quiet lake. So just kind of moving side to side. And then bring your hands on each side of your thighs, bring the knees back together and walk your feet as wide apart as your the mat for a little pyramid here. Laissez le bas du dos tranquillement s'assouplir au sol. You can even push into your feet to press your lower back into the mat if it feels good. And then go ahead a couple of times and inhale to arch your lower back. And then exhale and press your low back into the mat, like tiny cats and cows. Continuez à imaginer cette vague, ce mouvement comme une vague dans votre corps. Just connect with that wave-like movement in your body, in your spine. And then reach your arms up again, grab onto opposite elbow the weird way, the funky way, the way you never do the first time. And then inhale here, exhale to draw your elbows to the left, your knees to the right. Breathe in to come back to center and breathe out to do the opposite left, knees to the left, elbows to the right. If you just continue comme ça, vous pouvez ajouter le regard qui suit les genoux. So if you want your head to enter this dance, then Follow the direction of your knees with your gaze. A couple of times each side. And then make sure to complete a full cycle on each side. And come back to center. Relax your arms by your sides. Walk your feet hip width distance apart. And make sure that you have enough room overhead to eventually extend the arms. Walk your heels close to your bum so they're underneath your knees. And keep your knees in line with your hip bones, your ASI hip bones. On your next breath out, press your lower back into the mat. Engage your lower belly muscles. And then breathe in to lift the pelvis into Setu Bandha Sharvangasana Bridge Pose. And then breathe out to lower your spine, one vertebra at a time. So just continue comme ça. Inspirez pour soulever la colonne, posture du pont. Expirez pour descendre. And then gradually you can add the movement of your arms. As you breathe in, reach the fingers up to the sky and breathe out to lower down. Everything lifts as you breathe in and lower down as you breathe out. Puis l'idée ici, ben, c'est de... Um, uh, Synchroniser le mouvement des bras avec celui du bassin. De tranquillement trouver cette idée de fluidité. Un mouvement qui est continu, comme un long fil qui nous permet de tricoter ensemble le corps physique et le mental, les pensées, à travers le souffle. So just imagine that thread that is your breath, knitting together the movement, the body, the physical body, and the thoughts, the physical, uh, the mental body. And let's do that one more time. Once your pelvis touches the floor again, bring your knees into your chest, slide your hands behind your thighs, and rock forward and back a couple of times. Next time you come back onto your back, relax the head and the pelvis onto the floor and extend your legs up. Press through the heels like you want to push the ceiling away. Find your lower back curve again. So it might mean that your heels are moving further forward, which is fine. 
And as you're going to breathe out, start to open up your legs out to the side and use your elbows like uh, tripods to support your legs, pressing through the heels still. Good. Reaching through the crown of the head. And then see if you can maybe slide your hands a little higher up towards your feet. And if it feels comfortable to release your arms fully and allowing the gravity here to open up the inner thighs. Keep pressing through the inner heels. Continue à pousser à travers l'intérieur des talons. Take a deep breath in. Feel the length, the space, the wave of energy reaching its top and then exhale, washing away whatever you don't need anymore. Take a deep breath in, and as you're going to breathe out, squeeze your lower belly muscles and bring your legs back together. You can use your hands, obviously. And then let's do that a couple of times. Breathe in to open up. Using your hands or not, breathe out to close. From the low belly, imagine your hip bones coming closer as the feet are coming together. A couple more times. One more. Bring your legs back together. Bend your knees into your chest. Give yourself a big hug. Roll forward and back a couple of times. Squeeze your knees together, your legs together. And then whenever you're ready, cross your ankles. Roll forward into tabletop. Une fois que vous atterrissez dans la posture à quatre pattes, inspirez pour cambrer le bas du dos. The index are pointing forward as you're arching your lower back. And then exhale into your cow back round and press all of the three other fingers of each end towards the sides of your mat and just keep moving cats and cows. Notice how it feels to be on your knees. Do you need to pat them up? What about your hands? What do you need to change? Do you actually need to change their form, their shape, so it feels more comfortable? And then come to what feels neutral for you. Extend your right leg back, but keep your toes tucked under. And then push into the mouth of the big toe as much as the baby toe to keep your hips squared. As you breathe out, feel your lower belly muscles activating. And then start to push into your hands like you want your heel to touch the floor and press back, 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 back to stretch the back of your calf muscles. A little bit of the back of the knee as well, maybe the back of the thigh if it's quite tight. Try to keep your pelvis neutral here, so not arching and lifting your bum, nor rounding your back. One more breath. And then breathe and bring the shoulders back over your hands. Lift your right leg up. Turn your toes out, externally rotate, and then move your right leg out to the side. So the heel, the knee, and the hip are in line. Push into your hands, take a deep breath, push your foot through the inner heel, and then lower down the foot, the entire sole on the floor. You want the inner arch of your right foot to be lifted. And then from here, cats and cows, breathe in to arch your back. Breathe out around. Notice how it feels in the pelvis but mostly how it feels around your right thigh bone, femur bone. Awesome. And then find whatever feels like neutral for you. Take a breath in and then start to walk your hands forward into some sort of a puppy pose, forehead to the floor or onto something that feels okay. Keep pressing the left thigh back as you're pushing the right foot into the ground. And avoid sinking here, so keep your elbows off the floor and hollow your armpits as you're hollowing your belly as well. Take one more breath. Exhale fully. Walk your hands back towards you. Keep your right hand onto the floor to reach your left arm up into a twist. And then exhale to thread your left arm underneath your chest, lower down the shoulder and the left temple. Now make sure that you're pressing slightly the head into the floor to keep your neck engaged. And it's as if you wanted your left fingers to touch your right big toe. Now reach your right arm up if you want to, internally rotate the arm bone and find the top of your right thigh or maybe the side of your uh, left hips or in left thigh if you want to. Keep rolling that right shoulder back to expand the space across your chest. 
Legs are still super strong. Taking one more breath here. Expirez complètement et puis soulevez le bras droit. Inhale, right arm up. Back towards your face, press yourself gently back onto all fours. Lift your right leg up. Now bend your knee, bring it to your chest, and step your right foot in between your hands. Coming into Anjanayasana, low lunge. Keep your fingertips on the floor, your back toes tucked under. Inhale, lengthen your spine, and then exhale, move back and towards uh, Ardha Anmanasana, or um, half split. There you go. And then inhale to reach your heart forward. Exhale to sit back with your sit bones. And puis just suivez la vague du souffle. So imagine yourself as a wave rising on the inhale forward and moving back. Décharger à l'expire. One more time. Move forward again, breathe in, and then just move your left foot behind you about 90 degrees. Keep your right hand outside of your right foot, and on your next breath in, sweep your left arm overhead and towards the sky into some sort of a Parshvakanasana on your knee. Breathing in deeply here, exhale to cinch your waist, and then on your next breath in, rising up into some sort of a warrior two on your left knee. Take a breath here. Inhale to lengthen the arms overhead and then exhale to simply come back into Parshvakanasana on your knee. Left arm overhead, push the knee away from your fingertips. Inspirez ici, expirez complètement, tirez la sangle abdominale, remontez à l'inspire. Let's do that a couple of times. Exhale, inhale, rise up and then exhale, dig into your right hip. To come smoothly back into your half parjvakanasana. Inhale into the left side. Expirez. À l'inspire, remontez, guerrier deux. Expirez, restez. Inhale to rise. Fill that space in your right groin and try to keep it as you're going to move the upper body forward. Maybe keep the arms overhead this time. Push firmly into the lower left leg to support one more breath. Maybe look up underneath your left arm. And then as you're going to breathe out, right hand, left hand down. Tuck your back toes under and then press yourself back into your first plank. Push both of your heels back. Look forward with the eyes of your collarbones. Take one more breath. Push into your heels, lift a little higher, and then lower down the knees and the chest to the ground. Fingertips onto the, onto the floor, outside of your mat. Elbows bent 90 degrees in line with your shoulders. Press the top of the feet down and then inhale and rise up like a wave. And then exhale to release the energy of your way, of your wave. Encore une fois, inspirez comme une vague qui s'énergise, trouvez son sommet. Expire, descendez. So stay light onto the fingertips. Really use the muscles of your back to rise up. And to slowly move down. One more time. And down. Hands by your floating ribs. Press yourself up. Big toes together. Knees apart. Child's pose. Posture de l'enfant. Quelques souffles ici. Try to keep your arms active. So elbows off the floor. Imagine you're pulling the mat towards you so you feel your arm bones being plugged back into their sockets. Hips are heavy. Thighs are soft. Breath is smooth. Where do you need to bring a bit more of these qualities of the water in your practice, in your body, or in your thoughts? Inhale to rise back up to all fours. And then from here, extend your left leg back. Toes tucked into your mat. Push back so your heel comes dangerously closer to the floor. Feel that nice yummy stretch at the back of your left lower leg. Actively pressing the mat away. Low belly is nice and toned. Breathe in to rise and come back. Lift your left leg up. Spin your toes out and bring your foot in line with your hip. Take one more breath. And then lower down the left leg. 
Good. Coming into an inversion of the ankle, so you want the outer edge of your foot to press the floor. Breathe in into your cat, cow, <laughs> and then breathe out into your cat. And just do that a couple more times. And in between these two extremities, you might find something that feels neutral, so come to it. And then go ahead, exhale, and then walk your hands forward into some sort of a pocky pose. Forehead is supported or lightly elevated. Just make sure that you're not collapsing here. And then extending both sides of your trunk from your pinkies through your armpits, along your line, the waistline, all the way to the sit bones. Revenez tranquillement les mains sous les épaules. Keep your left hand down and reach your right arm up into some sort of a weird twist. And then exhale, go ahead and thread your right arm underneath your shoulder. Taking a breath in here, maybe lifting your left arm up and then spinning into internal rotation to find the outer right hip or the front of your right thigh. Pressez délicatement la tempe droite dans le tapis pour supporter et activer les muscles du cou. So you want to support the structure of your neck by pressing gently the right temple into the floor. Slow down. And just feel whatever there is to feel. Notice the emotions. And don't fight them nor indulge them. Just be with them. And then reach your left arm up, move your hands back down. Take a moment to reset. So you can lift your left foot up, knee to the chest, thread your left foot in between your hands and come into Anjanayasana. Fingertips are still on the floor, right toes are tucked, inhale, they're open up, rising the energy all the way to the crown of the spine. And then exhale to shift back into half split. Pensez ici à une vague à l'inspiration qui vient trouver son sommet à la couronne de la tête, à l'avant du tapis, à l'expire, déferle vers l'arrière, se retire du, um, de la berge. One more time. Up and back. Coming forward here, left knee is bent, spin your left toes behind and keep your left fingers outside of your left foot. Reach your right arm overhead and up. Take a breath in here. Press firmly your lower right leg into the floor. You can keep your tucked toes, your toes tucked or tuck the foot down. And then breathe into a rise into a warrior two. Breathe out to settle. Inhale to reach the arms overhead. Curl out and then exhale to shift forward into Parshvakanasana. Lower the left fingers. Take a breath into your right side. Push firmly your right knee into the floor as you're moving your right pinky away. Expirez complètement ici. Activez la sangle abdominale pour remonter la structure. Guerrier 2. Inspire, bras vers le ciel. Expire, creusez la hanche. Prenez un moment pour descendre lentement. Main gauche peut toucher le sol. Inspirez dans le flanc droit. Expirez complètement. On remonte une dernière fois vers Guerrier 2. Last time, Warrior 2. Inhale to reach the arms up. And then this time, try to keep the maintain the space in your left groin as you're going to shift the left side towards the left thigh. Take a moment here. Stop. You can stay. Maybe look underneath your right arm. Breathe in. And then breathe out. Left arm. Right hand down. Tuck your back toes. Plank. Take a moment. Inhale here. With or without your knees, shift forward. Lower all the way down. One block. Fingertips on the floor, at floor, outside of your mat. Inhale to lift into your spider cobra. And then this time, turn your right shoulder forward, look over your left one, and then lower down the right shoulder. Breathe in to come back to center. Left shoulder in, right shoulder back, look over and lower. And then let's just do that a couple more times. And try to find that very um, constant thread, that stream, unstoppable stream of movement. 
rise back to center and then lower down shift your hands by your floating ribs tuck your toes under and then let's come into Urdhva Mukha Svanasana Adho, uh, Adho Mukha Svanasana downward facing dog you might want to walk your heels up and down but just make sure that this is not a out of an abbot but actually because you need it your body needs it deep breath in full breath out inhale to lift your right leg up and back open your hip into your dirty dog so the right heel is moving towards the left sit bone keep reaching through the right knee take a deep breath in here and as you're going to exhale, move your right knee outside of your right arm. So that could be the elbow or the shoulder. Breathe in to reach back up. Open up the hip. And then this time, move your right knee right into your nose. And step your right foot forward. Back heel to the mat to rise up into warrior two. Guerrier deux avec l'inspiration. Look towards your right middle finger. That is your drishti. Soften the shoulders here. And then let's imagine that your hands are like jellyfishes. So as you're going to breathe in, they're going to suck in a lot of water. So you can extend the right leg and then inflate your jellyfishes all the way to the sky. And then as you're going to exhale, let go of the water, lower back down to warrior two. Donc imaginez vos mains comme des méduses qui se remplissent d'eau, qui s'élèvent pour... Allongez la jambe droite, expirez de nouveau vers Virabhadrasana. And then those same jellyfishes, you have them along your spine. So imagine like you're filling up your spine from the tailbone all the way to the crown of your head as you breathe in. And then back to Ardu 2. Last time. Stay up here. Bring your right toes in. And then both of your heels in. Exhale to bend your knees out, hands onto your knees into goddess pose or goddess walk. Make sure that the knees are in line with the second and third toes or actually the second and third toes are in line with your knees. And then breathe in here. As you're, you're gonna breathe out, bring the right shoulder in, look over the left shoulder. Breathe in to rise up. Breathe out to twist. Imagine à nouveau les méduses que vous remplissez d'eau jusqu'au sommet de la tête. À l'expire, vous videz torsion. One more time, each side. And then rising back to center, reach the arms up, keep your knees bent. Exhale, hands to your heart. Breathe in to lengthen the legs, arms up. And then breathe out to spin all of your toes forward. Keep your legs long into pyramid pose. Shift your right hip back. Take a breath in, reaching up. And then exhale to fold forward. You can utilize the variation you want with the mains. You can go for a very um, classical variation with a reverse prayer action if you want to. Whoa. <laughs> if you wanted to. Or just have your fingers on the floor. It's up to you. Now take a breath in to lengthen your spine. And breathe out to fold a little deeper. Pressing the right thigh back as you're elongating the spine. Inhale to rise half back. And then walk your fingers forward. Lift your left leg up. And then step your left foot forward. Coming up halfway. Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale to fold. Uttanasana. Rise all the way up. Urdhva Astasana. Exhale to center, Samastiti. And Tadasana, Mountain Pose. Feel your feet on the ground. Take a moment to come back to that very smooth stream of the breath. Keep your feet hip with distance apart or big toes together, heels apart. Have the outer edges of your feet parallel. And then inhale here, exhale to lower down into Utkatasana squat. Breathe and share, arms up and forward. Let's take a moment here to feel our, our legs. And if you want to, you can lift onto the ball of your toes, activating here a bit more. Take one more breath. And then move your heels in 
knees out, lower down into a squat. If the heels are not touching the floor, that's fine. Keep your knees up and then like a tiny little ball, ask the legs fold in between your legs. Watch for your knees. Make sure that they're happy of the situation. Otherwise, adjust. Take one more breath in your malasana. And then come on up. Inhale. Plant your hands underneath your shoulders for a um, transition of bakasana. Lift your pelvis. Move your knees behind your, fore, uh, your upper arms. And then as you're going to breathe out, heels up, low belly in. Take a deep breath in. Lengthen the spine. Exhale, shoot back. Chaturanga. Back bend of your choice. Downward facing dog. Breath in, breath out. Notice which one feels better. Which one feels like needed a lot. Est-ce qu'il y a un des deux phases de la, de la respiration qui semble plus nécessaire en ce moment? Est-ce que l'inspiration est plus savoureuse? Est-ce que l'expiration est plus satisfaisante? And then go ahead and lift your left leg up. Bend your knee, come into your dirty dog. Left heel towards the right side. Try to keep your upper body as steady, as strong as possible. Take a breath in here. And then as you're going to breathe out, move your left knee outside of your left arm as high as possible. Breathe in to reach up and open. And then this time, bring your left knee into your chest and step your left foot forward. For warrior two, spin your toes out and windmill, windmill your arms up. On a moment pour installer vos fondations, so strong foundations in the feet, and then very strong pillars in the legs. Spinning the right thigh in and back as you're pushing the left knee out to the side. Think about your jellyfish. Breathe in to fill them up all the way to the top, and breathe out to let that go. Just do that a few more times. Inspirez pour remplir la méduse. Expirez, la vider complètement. Empty out. Close your eyes so you connect to the feeling, the felt sense instead of how it looks. And then rising, inhale. Spin your left toes in, then both of your heels in, and then exhale to sit into goddess pose. Hands onto the knees, light here, inhale the length in your spine, left shoulder in, look over the right shoulder. Inspirez pour revenir au centre, twisting into your goddess pose, exhale, and we'll do that two more times, each side. Puis c'est souvent dans l'effort que la déconnexion se fait entre le corps et le mental à travers le sou. So try to maintain that smooth connection, that smooth and constant thread in between the body and the mind, especially when you are um, in a little more forceful movement. Rising back to center whenever you'll be ready. Take a moment, keep your knees in your goddess, reach the arms up, back to your heart, and then inhale the lantern, reach the arms overhead, and then spin all of your toes towards the top of your mat. Take a breath in. La variation de votre choix au niveau des mains. À l'expiration, creusez à partir des hanches et tranquillement fondez vers la pyramide posture. So pyramid pose here. Squeeze the inner thighs. Think about moving towards one another, those two little hip bones. And then maybe exhale and deepen the forward fold. Stay connected to your breath which its pattern is super smooth and comfortable. Inspire, remonte la colonne, rise back up, breathe in, and then shift forward so you can lift your left leg and step the foot forward. Breathe in, half back. Breathe out to fold Uttanasana. Inspire, jusqu'au ciel, or Vaasta, Samasthiti, Tadasana, exhale. Slow down for a minute here. 
and just come back to what really matters here. Your breath, your heart beating, yourself. Okay, so walk your feet a little further apart. Um, I would say just a tad um, wider than the hips, something like that. And then inhale to reach the arms up. Press the outer edges of your feet into the ground. And then exhale, start to lower down, nice and slow. And I would like you guys to step about halfway, like um, you would be in a Utkatasana, but super wide leg. Instead of allowing your feet to drop to the outer edges, keep the same amount of pressure into the, big, the mount of the big toe, baby toe, inner and outer heel. So the knees are tracked in line with the second and third toe. And then you can have your hands onto your heart here and go ahead and start to lift your heels. Come onto the very ball of your toes. Feel the burn, feel the shake, lower down your bum just a tad so you feel like how the belly muscles are entering the dance. Take one more breath. And then keep your knees uh, and heels high and lower down your bum. Now notice if it feels okay to drop your heels into Malasana squat. If it doesn't, keep your heels up or even lift them up with something like a blanket. And move your hands in between, uh, together your elbows in between your knees into Malasana. Pressez les paumes des mains ensemble, pressez les genoux pour qu'ils s'éloignent les uns des autres. And then at the same time, imagine that your knees wants to come back to center, to meet to center again. Taking a few more breaths here. Try to find stillness in the agitation. Especialement dans des postures peut-être un peu plus challengeantes, ce serait normal que le mental commence à nous projeter in quantity incroyable de pensée. Just stay with your breath. Développer cette clarté stable à travers des mouvements qui sont lents, autant physique que mental. And then inhale to open up your arms. Keep reaching through the right fingers as you're going to move the left to the opposite direction. You can look up towards your left thumb. Expire, revenez au centre. And then inhale to open. Exhale to center. And just keep doing this. Very simple movement. Developing here stable clarity through slow movement. Like a very quiet river running down towards the ocean. And you can see the bottom of it. Every rocks, every fishes, because it's so clear and quiet. Come back to center, take one more breath, and then lower down your bum to the floor. Good. Reach your legs forward, come into seated. For a first forward fold, if you need to sit a little higher, please do so the um, interior tilt is easier or more available in your body. And then reach the arms up, Rupashi Motanasana, press through your heels and exhale to fold from your hips. So trying to keep as much length as possible through the entire spine as you're going to fold. Chin towards the chest, lent at the back of the neck, inhale to lengthen your spine. And then dig into the belly to fold forward a bit more. So instead of rounding the spine, think about sucking up the navel and folding. And you can do that two more times. Inhale to rise like a wave. Exhale to fall back. And then find whatever variation is good for you and stay here for a good three deep breaths. Just picture your spine here, like the top crest of a wave, full of energy, constantly moving and reshaping. Après avec l'inspiration, remonter, inhale to rise back up. 
Walk your hands behind you. Fingertips are pointing towards your hips. Bring the shoulder blades towards one another, retraction, and then bend your knees. Keep your knees in line with your hips, your hips in line with your heels, and then breathe in to come into reverse tabletop. Press your hips forward. Think about those hip bones singeing towards one another. Push the floor away. Take one more breath in here. And then exhale, lower down your pelvis back. Keep your right knee bent and extend your left leg forward. Open up the right knee into Janusher Shasana. If the right knee is not touching the floor, tie it up, support it. And reach the arms up again, both of your sit bones rooted into the floor. Exhale from your pelvis, which is tilting forward. So you should feel like your sit bones are pushing back, back, back as you are folding forward, forward, forward. All right, and then you can grab hold of your foot if you want to. Rest your hands on the floor. Push the outer right leg into the floor. Inhale the length in your spine. And then exhale to bring your sternum bone a little more in line with your left leg as you're going to release your forehead to your knee. Janu, genou, knee, shirsha, head. So head to knee pose. And then again, feel the roundness of your spine. That same strong and powerful wave running from your tailbone to the crown of the head. Inspire your commencé on your next breath and rise up. And then reach your right arm up and back. Plant your fingers, your hand into the mat so the fingers are pointing back. And on your next breath in, lift your left arm up and let everything else move in the direction of your left fingers. Enjoy pose. If it feels okay, then reach the left fingers back, but just make sure that everything moves towards that same direction. Push away, take one more breath, and then breathe out to come back to seated. Right knee in, and then you can extend your right leg or come back to reverse tabletop, or you can go into Purvottanasana, so keep your legs extended. I like to keep a soft bend in the knees, hands behind, and on your next breath in the same way you reach up. Lift the pelvis, point your toes if you are extending the legs. Lift with the back of the body. Retraction of the shoulders. Push away. Breathe in. Breathe out. One more time. And then lower it down. This time bend your left knee. Keep your right leg extended. For Janusher Shasana, come to sit onto both halves of your sit bones, or pelvis actually. And reach the arms up. Fold forward. Breathe out. Vahla Vandik. A couple of waves if you want to, up and down, to find the head to the knee pose. Keep reaching through your right heel, and at the same time pressing firmly the back of the leg into the mat. Reach your right sit bone as far back as the left. Prochaine inspiration, redressez la colonne. Left arm up and back. Fingertips are pointing behind. On your next breath in, follow your right fingertips up towards the sky and maybe overhead into joy pose. Push away. Breathe in. Breathe out. Slowly with the support of your exhale, lower down. And then this time, bring the right foot to meet the left foot into Baddha Konasana. So, soles of the feet together, fingertips outside of your hips, inhale the length in your spine, and then forward tilt of the pelvis, moving forward. So think about that bowl that you are spilling forward. And then you can walk your hands forward, release the chin to your chest, press the outer legs towards the floor. And try to imagine your sit bones pulling back, moving further behind you as the crown of the head is reaching further forward. Hmm. 
prochaine inspiration, remontez tranquillement la colonne. And then from here, let's go for our final posture, which is Upavishta Konasana. So it's basically your butterfly pose, but with your legs extended. So find something that is comfortable uh, in terms of space in between your legs. And make sure that you can still hook your heels into the mat. That's something I really like to do. Keep pressing the back of your calves, back of your thighs into the mat. And fingertips on each side of your hips and just kind of rock forward and back a couple of times onto your sit bones. So pensez comme à vos ischions comme une chaise berçante. If you're roulé d'avant en arrière. So you might feel those little cats and cows movement in your spine. And you'll notice that your heels are moving as well. Everything is connected. Never forget this, guys. Good. And then eventually feel what feels like neutral and then keep moving forward so you want to really feel the front of your sit bones and maybe eventually you feel like your sit bones are shifting back still in contact with the floor but you're moving towards the uh, interior face of them and then you can keep folding just make sure here that you're not being kind of sucked back right and you want to keep be able to breathe maintain that softness that soft thread that unify the body and the mind and you can go as far as you want you can even reach your arms even further forward relax your forehead onto something that could be the floor could be your hands for Upavishta Konasana. Last breath here. And on your next breath in, rise up nice and slow. Good. With all the love in the world, bring your legs back together. Gather them back to the center. Give yourself a big hug. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. For a seated twist, so move both of your knees towards the right, and you can move that left thigh further back so your right foot touches the top of your thigh. Both of your sit bones are rooted into the mat. And then let's reach the uh, right, left arm up, <laughs> left arm up, deep breath in, right arm behind, exhale towards the right. And then naturally your left hip boop, wants to pop up, and off the floor, so try to sit back into the left sit bone. And then you can look over your right shoulder, keeping the chin down, the face soft. Close your eyes, gaze inside. Puis à travers la torsion, souvent c'est là qu'on va aller nettoyer les blocages. So notice in this twist, where do you feel blockages of energy? Where do you feel like you need to send the powerful stream of your breath to clean up all kinds of debris, useless stuff? And then breathe in to come back slowly to center. Bring your knees back together and then shift them to the left. You can keep your knees together, obviously. Keep the right sit bone down, reach the arms up, and then twist. Left arm behind. Use it as a tripod to maintain the length in your spine without collapsing in your fingers. And twisting from the deep belly here. Cultivating a sense of ease, feeling strong at the same time. Puis inspirez, revenez au centre, back to center, bring your knees together, last little hug here. And then inhale the length in your spine, and exhale to lower, one vertebra at a time. 
Bring your knees into your chest. Give yourself a big squeeze. And move your knees further apart, maybe towards your um, armpits. Keep the length in your spine, maybe grabbing the outer edges of your feet for Ananda Balasana, happy baby. And maybe here you want to explore extending through one heel and then the other one, maybe both, while keeping your spine long, your breasts loose. Expire confident my seat and then release your hands but keep pressing your heels in opposite direction like we done on the, uh, the beginning of the practice and then exhale cinching the space in between your hips bring your legs back together take a deep breath in and then slowly start to lower down your legs now at any moment if you feel like this is too much then lower down your heels but then eventually you'd like to keep your spine neutral engage through the core Press your butt into the earth and slowly lend. Une fois que vous serez atterri dans Shavasana, I would like you guys to experiment what we call the skeleton rock. So the idea is to plant your heels into the mat and to start to actively point and flex your uh, toes. So dorsiflexion and um, plantar flexion. So you feel your entire body shifting back and forth many, many times. And then start to relax a bit more into this movement. So only the ankles, legs are working here. Soften your jaw, relax your eyes, turn your gaze inward. And then maybe go a little faster, feel the back of your head shifting back and forth. And then breathe out to release. And just observe the energy still running into the body. The stream still nourishing from the center all the way to the extremities. Don't try to grab, to hold onto anything here. Allow your breath to wash away whatever doesn't serve you anymore. And allow the inhale to replenish your energy, to bring back clarity, strength peacefulness, calmness, poise. And as I invite you guys to stay here, Take a moment to make sure that you are comfortable. And here's a mantra that was gifted to me a few weeks ago that helped me a lot so far. You can repeat it for yourself a few times and it goes like this. I am safe. Better things are coming. I am capable of coming out stronger. I am divinely guided and protected. I am not alone. I am safe. Better things are coming. I am capable of coming out stronger. I am divinely guided and protected. I am not alone.
May all of you be happy. May all of you be healthy. May all of you be safe. Thank you for sharing your time with me. Namaste.